Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beta Plan, playing Shadowrun. And we are in, well, a critical phase, more or less. We are fighting for our lives. We are being gassed. We are being shot at. And, well, we also have some tentative allies, I would dare and say. But we have, whoa, night errands around the corner. Swiping the keycard across the slot, the save lets out a beep and the light flashes green. As the door swings open, the contents are revealed. A stack of chips and a pexiglass cube, containing a large tangle of drone parts. With a daft grab, you scoop up the goods. Very good. We have, uh, we, optional is shut off the gas and, uh, escape R is, uh, the main thing to do right now. And to escape, we need to get past these uh, night errands according to that arrow over there. The fact of the matter is, do we actually want... To have Isnobel? I'm sending Isnobel to the Matrix, but do we really want to do that is now a question of mine. And I'm asking that because... You know... You know what? Uh, let's shut up a shot here if they're going to pass over here. The fact of the matter is we have 19 turns. Code, we have a drone with us. So we might be able to put out even more vents than just the one where we currently have deactivated. Where are these arrows guiding us? This is one vent that we know is active. Where is the other vent? Over here! Yes, we can definitely send Kosha in to give us a few more turns. Perhaps we should not send Isnobel in order to uh, the Matrix. No, not at all. Let's get Isnobel uh, here. Very good. The neutral allies are giving these Knight Errants some targets to shoot at. Isnobel, we're not going to jack into the Matrix. Forget it. The third uh, valve we cannot close. Then again, it might be so that if we do this... Oh, bloody hell. We took another big amount of damage. If we take another hit, we can't heal it up. Well, we know where another man is. Uh, that is definitely an adapt. Hmm, this is only one turn, right? Yes. You're bleeding and you are sleepy. Is no bell. We're gonna hack you in. Perhaps because if we turn off everything, you know, we'll get extra karma. So we're hacking. We are actually putting her into the matrix. What we all not do for extra XP. You know what you all do in RPGs. Those weird, weird decisions that uh, well are completely out of character, but you do nonetheless because you know you get the extra XP. Ah. Uh, Question is, who and what to boost? Hmm. I'd say we're going to take a risk and put both Goblet and Kosha in here, and let's hope the neutrals here will be good enough in fighting off the Knight Errant. She is already in sleepy mode as well. They seem to be, uh, well, they seem to have a good accuracy. As I already said, I was wondering if they might be uh, more buff than they had uh, attacked. Oh, this person is coming in here. 4 AP damage on. Yowza! That is not little. So, what we know... Oh! Sh sh thank you. Now we need to run past it. What we know from this thing... Already I said I went in here. Valve control, number three. Ended. Very good. One valve is out. Now I don't know if we deactivated valve one or valve two. We are safe here for a moment. We have opened that one already. Um, what is the best time to pass here? Because this one guy is on a shorter circle than that person is. Well, actually, they're on a different type of circle. And now would be a good time. Voila! Let's open the... Oh, this one is already controlled. Then we only need to... We got in here for no apparent reason whatsoever. 
Are we good? We're in. Time to open this one. We'll force this. Because we have more than enough time. We control all the gas valves. They're all shut off. Very good. And we are out of the matrix. Very nice. Is no bill. You've done us wonders. So, they didn't see Deathclaw anymore. So, they didn't attack her. Uh, how much HP do you have? You're wounded 11. Yeah, but you're bleeding by 7. If you, you you can't see her, huh? No, you can. 6 HP. She will bleed to death. Alright then. Uh, we'll put her in here. Koshai is down and out because he took so much AP damage. So that means that we have Rector completely into our control. But it also means that we... Koshai could now die. Which I really don't want to happen. And that is like no damage whatsoever. Um... Then we will do the drastic thing and call up on spirits. Thank you. Um, target is nor all enemies. Pacify one, please hit. And it missed. Well, that was at least. Uh, hopefully, we will get that resource back. I've no we haven't tried it yet in this game. If you get back your resources, but yeah. From far a shot, and it did not hit. Doesn't matter. It's Nobel coming back in. Why would you do that? She was about to die anyways. This is pointless. Um, your our backup is a little bit uh, deft on the tactical decisions. I understand this decision, but I had hoped they would rather attack this dude. Because I don't want Koshai to die, because I, I'm not sure. Raven sends his regard, asshole. I don't know what I missed. He missed. Thank you very much. It seems to be Grenade Alley over there. Look, I don't want Koshai to die. So, we are going to stand on that side. And he is down and out for the count. Uh, we're, that's not a lot of breaking chance. We give you 4 AP. We really want you to uh, hit this heart. We'll give you a lot of accuracy. We'll let you hit him once. We missed. And then we'll throw him out here in order to uh, soak up some attention from these guys and they actually lost AP. Very good. Losing action points. Always very good when the enemy does that. Would never want that to happen to me. Alright. Is Nobel is also now back in our ranks. I think we are about to win. Why are you going out? Get get in there. Thank you. They only need just a little take more. Very good. And he is also down and out. I must say that the uh, the people of the backup team are definitely hitting. So let's render his armor broken. Because voila, he had a lot of armor. But now a little less. Um, I think you can go into control mode again. Because Scorcia should be awake again. Yes, he is. Yo. Wow, we missed that. We missed that twice. I am appalled. I really am. Uh, just take the shot here. And he kills the wizard. Very good. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of cover still. I'm not going to... Oops, framiness. Oh well, it will resolve itself soon, I assume. And a gobbit. But the problem is this guy is going to wake up in a moment, I think. Do we want him still? Yeah, we want him a little bit more active. In fact, we're going to send him all the way out here. Should enemies arrive there, he is the one to get the jump on them. Alright, there is no one there. We'll, we'll cancel out the spirit. So that Gobbit has more ability to work. We banish the spirit. It's a pretty powerful spirit. I hope she gets the totem back. That she spends her money on that. Her money and not our money. Oh, did you just block really the door? I hope you do not just block the door. But anyways, we are no more in trouble of gassing. So that's good. Well, she missed. She missed a person that cannot even... Wow. 
You apparently have the performance anxiety. Elder, that was quite a bit of damage on me. But that's what killing hands can do. But also, this is def what Deathclaw can do, buddy boy. Kilt. Rector peers intently at the bracer and scans the room with it. I think that's the last of the security on this floor. But it won't be long before reinforcement arrive. They're sure to notice when the soldiers stop checking in. You think they figured that out? Well, you think they've figured out what we're after? They'll be right on top of us if they have. Doubtful. Unless Tega or Harringham was in their lab, the rank and the file knight errant guards won't have security clearance to know what projects are being developed. Still, we should move quickly. I agree, let's get the hell out of here. And don't forget that I wouldn't be surprised if that other team still jumps on us. The elevator door refuses to open. Some kind of m manual lock is engaged. A blinking alert message reads, Elevator in transit. Doors will unlock once elevator passes 427. Looks like they won't be able to pry them open for a minute or two. Better hunker down. Oh no. Round still door open. This means more or less, uh... Well, uh... Last as long as you can, or otherwise you're dead. Type of deal. That means we're going to set up some offensive positions. In order to make sure that we uh, get the jump on whatever comes out of here. Alright. Also, if they say past 27, but does that mean they also might actually get out of the elevator? And I almost thought we were done with the episode. Oh. Should have put her on a ley line. We're going to put her in a ley line. A bit of a dangerous position, but it's a ley line nonetheless. The neutrals don't know what to do. They just... Well, at least she is spelling herself up. That's kind of a good thing. Do they have free AP? One move. Two move. Well, he has two AP only, but she did and two castings and he moved. Well, there comes in the enemies. Of course... We stood on the ley line, but unfortunately that was right in the middle of things. Dag nabbit, and we can't move her out of the way. Hmm. Deathclaw. I would have loved for you to, uh, well, be able to spell cast right something down the middle, but you can't. 99% hit at least on this. And uh, what I mean is actually an area of effect damage, of course. And unfortunately, also is no bell got hit hard. We missed. No, oh, we only had one, but at least it's something. Uh. By the way, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, well, you know what? Manual focus. I should have done that immediately. Target headshot. No, we need a better... We need a clear shot. There we go. Just do some damage. Hopefully they'll start focusing on our, uh, well, allies over here. And not on the person that's standing on the ley line. I can understand, though. That she was out in the open. I was already, like, not sure where to put her. Well, the mage doesn't seem to be too pleased. Oh, another mage coming in for his position, though. This person is uh, a little unsure where to go. Wow! That person got hit hard. And he is moving to Rector. That is not allowed. Um, can we already escape? All of us? Yes, we can. Just get the hell out of here. Can you stop? Oh, uh, it's two turns for you. Alright, well, Gobbit is out then. We're just going to make sure that everybody of us gets out and we're in a getting out position. Voila, he is down and out for the count, as in he won't move much more this turn. Um, no, let's... Just do one shot and leave it at that. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be too far for us to be able to hit also our own character. We missed, we move out. That isn't a bad spell to put on somebody. Uh, are you also going to hit him, girl? Or are you just going to move around him? That's a bit of a weird movement. 
But we definitely need to get out of here. But luckily it's mainly our... Oh, well, that's a little bit of damage. We can handle that. Alright, time to get the hell out. I'm out. And, uh, well, let me put this in a little bit better. Um, follow mode. And you need one turn. And you are out. And then it's Isnobel. And Isnobel is out. Did we miss something there? Did I notice that? Something said about Taylor's desk. I don't know what that meant. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see what the game has in store for us, huh? Because we still have that other Shadowrun team, and I assume something about that is still going to go down. Misdirection. The pungent smell of mossy stone, grease, and the remnants of neurostun gas mix in your nostrils as you ripple down the elevator shaft. Repel, sorry, repel, so that's with rope and stuff. Whatever frustrated knight errant security officers are armed pursuit are too far away to be heard. All around you there's only darkness and the occasional red hued maintenance light. As you reach the bottom and pry open the heavy elevator doors, light comes flooding into the shaft. With any luck, you're only minutes away from the MTR station, and with it, freedom. Yeah, but we still have another Shadowrun team. And if we take the prototype, we take their paycheck. I'm not sure if they're willing to fight us, but then again, they were quite in awe with us. Let's see what happens, huh? But that might actually be for the next episode. But then again, I'm really afraid that that would be very, very short. Um, we'll record a little long episode for this time then. I hope it won't become too, too long, but... You exist the surface elevator and step out into the dimly lit basement. You hear no sounds of alarm, nor shouting... But it only is a matter of time before Knight Errant catches up with you. The basement smells of mold and stale air. Faint vibrations run through the floor and walls every few minutes. Evidence of MTR trains passing nearby. That was closer than I'd liked. Woo! Dizzy hunches over, hands on her knees as she pants excitedly. She strains as she calms down. So, by the way, what, what did we fill? No, we did not fill anything. Did we? Chalk that up and... Choked up on things I don't want to get again, do again. Get gassed while type trying to escape from Knight Errant. Ah, uh, buck up, Dizzy. At least your fists and feet couldn't hurt those bastards. I swear to God, I'm never running against Ares again, unless I've got an assault cannon with me. The old six gun just won't cut it against Knight Errant. Knight Errant, I should say that correctly. Just spring from some APDS rounds, man. You don't need to overcompensate that much. So, what now? We just march through the basement into the central MTR station? Um, we should move fast. We don't have much time before they figure out where we are. Before we head off into the unknown, what are we going to do about the prototype? You need it for your job, I need it for mine. You are the only one who needs it. We have a job to finish, just like you do. It's unfortunate that we cannot both get what we want. But that's how life is some days. You suck it up and you move on. Come on now, you're well established. You've got a network of contacts. The runner community knows how reliable you are. I'm a little fish in a big pond here. I blow this job, I may not be able to work in Hong Kong again. Hell, you don't even need the prototype. Just a damn GPS unit on it. Actually, you come from Seattle. And what you do in Hong Kong, I don't care. If we don't get paid, we'll be just as screwed as you. I know my team, and I don't know you. Maybe for you, but for me it's life or death for my friends. And maybe me too. I'm begging you, give me something to work with. You don't have to be like this. You do me this favor, I can pay you back in the future. You got my word on it. Rector leans in to whisper to you. It's true that we only need a GPS unit. That said, I'm certain I could fix the prototype up so that we could use it in the field. It's your call though. We can be good Samaritans. Or keep the weapons for ourselves. Well, you have your special drone unit. I am... I could fix the prototype up so that we can use it in the field. Hmm. What does that mean? That is the interesting of playing blind. I don't know what outcome brings what. We only need a GPS unit. He got his stuff. What? What? Um. 
Other prototype data. Yeah, but I think that that is good for us. No, I don't think so. We're going to keep this stuff. We are Shadow Runner. Oh crap, I guess you have to do what you think is not right. Bull sighs, rubbing his hand over his face. I guess there's nothing to do but to try for another job. I can't pretend to be happy about your decision, but no hard feelings, okay? I know how it goes. It's not out there for everybody. Listen, you go ahead. I'll head the other way so we'll be less conspicuous once we get out of the collapsed area. Keep safe, okay? Alright. Well, I think that that is a good ending for the episode as we get out through this side. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great power yields great beauty.